There's a big political scandal involving Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. And you may remember that Trudeau just survived another scandal when he was busted for doing brown face 20 years ago at an Aladdin party. <laughs> but this time, my friends, Trudeau may have really gone too far. Some donut drama for Justin Trudeau. The only in Canada controversy started with the Prime Minister tweeting a photo of himself carrying boxes from the O Donuts shop in Winnipeg to help fuel a wintertime cabinet meeting. Some on social media praised Trudeau for supporting a local business. Others criticized him for buying about $200 worth of elitist donuts instead of hitting the local Tim Hortons at about a third of the price. Really, Canada? That's your scandal? Your prime minister brought the wrong donuts? If this shit pisses you off, you guys wouldn't last a day with Donald Trump. <laughs> donuts? <laughs> I can't even believe that's a thing. Uh, let me tell you something now. If Trump had a donut scandal, he'd make it a real scandal. He'd be like, yes, I had sex with that donut. <laughs> but only because it promised me dirt on Joe Biden. <laughs> Also, I love how some Canadians are upset because they say Trudeau didn't go to the local donut shop, Tim Hortons. That's what they said. They said, why did you go to this elitist place instead of the local Tim Hortons? Okay, there's nothing local about Tim Hortons, all right? <laughs> it's a giant corporation, all right? When these people go to McDonald's, are they like, oh, anything I can do to help out my neighborhood clown? <laughs> I will say, though, Justin Trudeau should be a little careful with these donuts, yeah, because he could st start eating a chocolate one, get a little bit of the frosting on his face. <laughs> Yeah, and then go to wipe it off, and then it's everywhere, and then he's just like, I can show you the world. <laughs> All right, let's move on to some news from the world of tech. Tinder, it's the app that helps you find that special someone you could be with for the rest of your night. And now, <laughs> after years of getting people laid, Tinder is now trying to get people safe. Well, the popular dating app Tinder is unveiling new safety features today. They include a photo verification system, a panic button, and the ability to call authorities to their exact location. Tinder will use this technology as part of its safety features. Critics have complained that Tinder has not done enough in the past to screen out scammers and assault suspects. Yay, good job, Tinder. <laughs> oh, seriously, anytime you can make dating more safe, that's something you should do. I just hope this feature isn't too Tindery. You know, if you can like call for help on Tinder, I hope it's like just help. I hope it's not like, I need help, send a cop. No, not him. No, not him. <laughs> no, not him. Yeah, I guess he's okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and I do think it's a good feature, but I know some people are gonna abuse it. You know, like, you know, Mike Pence would be hitting that panic button all the time. <laughs> just be like, help me. My woman date is wearing pants. Come soon. <laughs> but now that Tinder and Uber both have panic buttons, I feel like every app should have them. You know, every app. Like, if you're on Instagram and you accidentally like your ex's three-month-old photo, <laughs> you should be able to hit a button, and then they send a team to help you start a new life. <laughs> All right, moving on. The World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, is wrapping up. And one of the stars of the event was climate activist Greta Thunberg, who blasted politicians for continuing to ignore global warming. But now, one of Trump's minions is firing back. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin unleashes a verbal attack on teen climate activist Greta Thunberg. Both are at the World Economic Forum in Switzerland. She said in a speech she wants businesses worldwide to stop investing in fossil fuels. Mnuchin told reporters considering her an economist is a joke and she needs to come back after she goes to college and gets an economics degree. Yeah, Steve Mnuchin. U.S. Treasury Secretary and skin-covered stapler says that uh, Greta should go to school before she comments on the global economy. That's what he said. Those were his words. Like, why don't you go to school, Greta, before you comment on the economy? And that doesn't make any sense, because since when does the Trump administration listen to anyone with an education? That makes no difference. <laughs> Seriously, this is not a White House that cares about qualifications. Right? Their education secretary has no education experience. <laughs> they put a sleepy doctor in charge of all urban housing. <laughs> And the current head of the EPA was a coal lobbyist, right? Forget an environmental science degree. This dude probably can't even do basic bird watching. Uh, he wouldn't know the difference between a red-breasted mergensaw and a yellow-bellied sapsucker, you bird-ignorant mother <laughs> I mean, for crying out loud, Ivanka. Ivanka Trump is an advisor to the president. What is her expertise, huh? What is it? Is Trump in a meeting like, Ivanka, help us out. We have to decide whether or not to bomb Iran. You sold shitty jewelry unsuccessfully for 10 years. What do you think? 